And welcome in, everybody. Just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. What do you have on him, Singy? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Well struck go, left go, field. Go, go. And that one's gone into the bleachers. The two-run shot. His latest homer in an incredible season. It's 2-0. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long... Here's Brandon Nimmo. Batting second. The right fielder. Right Kicks there. and deals. Hit on the ground, might be two. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. One gone, bottom half of the first. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. DeYoung really thriving with the bat this season here at home. On the ground, right side. Boots it, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Noodles Daddy now at the plate. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. And first offering is fouled off. See it driving. Let's go. Right here. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there. On its way and out of here. 
another homer. His second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the... So first and second with one man gone. This is Joey Bart. Now the catcher. Joey. The 2-2. Two -two. Puts a bunt down. Out on the toss to the pitcher. Runners advance to second and third. So up next, Noodles Daddy. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Runner at second here, one gone. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Into the bleachers and gone. His third home run of the game, and they add on. It's 7-1. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing it. We're at the top of the eighth. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. And a foul ball. Oh, and one now. Line drive, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Safe, and that's his third hit. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Second base. Here's Cattell Marte. No outs. Runner on second. Nobody better. Clutch up for us right now. In the air, left field. They get the out on Marte. And there's one down. Now batting, left fielder, Lamont Wade Jr. One down, Lamont Wade Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Flores pulls that one down, and there are two outs. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's the catcher, Jose Herrera. The pitch. Now a slow roller to second. On the run, sends it over to first. Third out. Left for the duck. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Logan Webb. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Phillips settles underneath it. And that'll do it. One left for Arizona. No and welcome back. Here's some real power at the plate. Noodles Daddy. The first baseman. Noodles. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck that one back there And it's into the bleachers out of here An absolute blast to left just like Noodles daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks 
the first baseman. Noodle. Daddy. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He sends it out of here. And they throw. Man at first with one gone. Digging in, Brett Phillips. Now batting, left fielder, Brett Phillips. Trying to move him over here. The flip to the pitcher covering. Barely got him for the out close play. These two offenses can put up runs in. Base is empty with two away. And now the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. And it's fouled away. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He'll touch them all. That's his third home run of the game. It's seven. One down. Runner at first. And now the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The, shortstop, Paul the pitch. DeYoung. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, he found himself behind it. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Base is loaded. One away. Popped up. Marte makes his way towards it. I got it ball, ball. And there's two down. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. So here's the cleanup hitter, Noodles Daddy. In the air, right side. Nimmo moving under this one. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants put an end to their four-game slide. And your final, 10-7. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Hello from six. Just about set to go. Getting the nod on the mound, Chris Sale. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Roll to short, possible two ball. Feed to second, that's one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Yeah, now dog. let's go, kid. The first Sale season. back to work. Drilled to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. His latest homer in an incredible season. And just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives. Stepping in the long ball threat. Noodles daddy. Line drive, caught! These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Now batting, right fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The 1-1. One -one. And that one gets down, fair ball. Arroyo around third, one run in. Here comes another. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Well done, drives it. Here's Pete Alonso, another solid power season. Hold up, right here. Ground ball could be two. Kennedy tossed the second, double play, and that'll do it for the inning.
Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Runner at first with two away. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Hard hit left side. Oh, what a stop. It's there, and that's a great play. Here's the second baseman, J.P. Crawford. The batter, number six. Second baseman, J.P. And a payoff pitch. On the ground, two ball. Lawler slings to second, and a run scores on the double play. And now Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1. At the belt and fires. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Giants leave a couple. They still trail it here, 4 to 3. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number 7. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. A solo shot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 5-3. Next to hit for Arizona, hey, Noodles right Daddy. Now the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. And first offering is fouled off. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. Swing, and that ball is clobbered. Way back there, and it is gone. A home run, and that breaks the single-season hit record. We have a new single-season hit king. What a moment, and he is having a year for the ages. We're witnessing incredible history right here. One of the greatest seasons of all time. The consistency it takes to maintain this level of success over the course of the year is almost hard to believe. Huge congrats to him on this amazing accomplishment. This was a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. I have to make. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Noodles Daddy. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. An absolutely majestic shot. And they boost their lead. It's... And here's the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. Now batter, first baseman, Noodles 
Gabby. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. With a low 90s fastball, you have to. The batter now, Kevin Newman. And he'll won. To the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends a rocket to left, and they tack up. Back here at Chase Field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's Carlos Correa. And he lays down a bunt. Daddy. Steps on first for the out. Man at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Noodles Daddy. Line drive base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating. a ton of power in that swing he did it with quick hands good lower half and just unloaded on that ball buddy kennedy stands in now for the diamondbacks and a weak ground ball to the left side they get one double play what a twin killing to end the inning noodles daddy digs in now to third might be two comes home with it for one on to Chrome it's a double play runner on at first with one gone here's Chris Bryant now ground ball left side could be two one at second and it's a double play to end the ball game. Final score in this one, 11 to 4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Hater back to work. The first baseman, Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. They're going crazy in the dugout, and they jump out front. It's one nothing. He's so good at getting his arms. In. So one out, nobody on. Here's a big power threat. Noodles, Daddy. He's already homered in this game. 
Bobby. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases. His second home run of the game. It's five zip. Bases empty, one away. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He's putting on quite the show. At the now up next for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. The batter, the first baseman, Noodles. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. On the ground to third. McMahon fires over to first. Two gone. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. 8-3 the final in this one. From Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. So just about set now, Kevin Newman. Leading off the afternoon for Colorado. Slow roller to first. Newman. Takes it himself. Oh. One up, one down. Batting four. The first baseman. Newman. Gabby. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. His latest homer in an incredible season. And it gives him the lead in the first. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's already homered here in this one. Daddy. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That one felt good. Here's Chris Bryant now. Another solid power season. Next pitch has popped up. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Back, Back here in the desert. Well, we go bottom six. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. Noodles Daddy. That one ripped. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they lead by two. And in its second with an RBI double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Next to hit for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. His third home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 9-4. He's putting on quite the show at the dish. Oh, a really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out and held from the first game of this series. Really neat.
So two down. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The first baseman. That one drilled left field. And it's gone. When a guy's got a real hard fat. Luis Torrens, the next to hit. One out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. He's in there. Picks himself up and up. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Noodles Daddy. <laughs> That's towards center. Solaire pulls it down, and that is that. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Noodles Daddy. On a line, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes. One gone here. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. The 1-1. Popped up on the left side of the infield. And the infield fly rule call. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. That one is absolutely belted way back there. And that one is gone. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit. One gone runner at first. Dom Smith stands in. Next pitch has popped up. Marte settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. Two down. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about team. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. The first baseman. The pitch. Daddy. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He's so good at getting his arms extended. Now it's the right fielder, Everson Pereira. Now batting. The right fielder, Everson Pereira. On the ground, a short could be two. Lawler over to second, throws it away. Now up next for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. And a foul ball. Thomas leads off second with one gone in the inning. Watch up, drive me in for us. Hammer, base hit. Thomas coming home. He will score, and the lead is up to five. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcaster, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not get cheated. Yeah, that ball was absolutely smoked. Lamont Wade Jr. will hit next. A one down. This one in the air right field. Pereira has this one sized up. Makes the catch in and over. Bottom part of the order. 8-3 the final in this one. 
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. On 17 hits, two errors, they left eight men on base. That is good. The first baseman, Noodle, Daddy. And first offering is fouled off. Stay hot, baby. And a foul ball. Stay hot. Here you go. Hey, get your pitch. Stay hot up there. Two on, one out. Line drive. On, on and foul ball. ball. Carroll at third. Marte at second with one away. And that one ripped to left. And that's just foul. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Out to short, Diaz picks it up, gathers, and throws to first. And the first run of the game comes across. And here's the first baseman, Noodle's daddy. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases, and they add a run. It's 4-0. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of Next to hit for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And first offering is fouled off. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Fought off foul. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Into left center for a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In there. That's a double. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Statcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog. It says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly... He saw it out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. And that one is going to go. A breaking ball on the inside part of the... Everson Pereira getting ready to hit. Now batting, right fielder, Everson. And the 2 On the ground, could be two. Kennedy to second, double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one hops against the fence. He pulls into second as a run scores. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Next pitch has popped up. Devers under this one. Out number two. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Buddy Kennedy. One for three. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. Now the one. This one popped up. Racing makes the catch. And that's the Luis Torrens, the next up for the Marlins. Now batting, catcher, Luis Torrens. Next pitch has popped up. Daddy makes the catch, and that'll do it. And, the and this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.
batting too. The first baseman. There's a swing and a drive. Pulls it in on the warning track. The Diamondback. Back here in Miami, David Dahl to the plate. And he tries to drag bunt towards first. Daddy. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Now the number two hitter, Everson Pereira. Roll to short, could be two. Lawler, toss to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Three innings. One down. Now up next for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Two-two down. Down the left field line, base hit. Buddy Kennedy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Here comes a pitch. To first, might be two. Feeds to second, out there. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Noodles Daddy, having a big series so far with eight hits. And there's a rocket into the outfield. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And ball four to a board. And a pitch. Strike three, got him swinging. Now one away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Grounder might be two. It's in and out of his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Uh, I think he just rushed that one. Great chance to turn two. And as an infielder on a play like that, I think guys can get a little excited and forget to make the play one step at a time. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get none. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Now he breaks his bat. On to Chisholm. That's the third out. Part of the order. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Now the first Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's Dominic Smith. Now batting. Left fielder. Dominic. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Noodles Daddy digs in now. He's already homered in this game. Ripped on a line. And that one is out of here. His second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-5. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky.
All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Zach Wheeler. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. To first, maybe a two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. Relay to first, double play. Man at second here with two away. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. <laughs> Now fly ball to right center. Tramel settles under this one and makes the grab. And the inning is over. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's some real power at the plate. Noodles Daddy. One for two with a two-run homer back in the first. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. And they add a couple more. It's five zip. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his... We go to the top of the seventh. And here is Noodles' daddy. Gonzalez back to work. Hit hard, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but on, this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. How about that double play? So digging in, Luis Garcia. Now back, second base. Line drive, base hit right field. Well, so that was one of those high percentage advantage counts. So up next, Noodles Daddy. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Line to left. Castellanos makes the grab. And there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. One error. They left 10 men on base. Leading off for Arizona, the first baseman, Nudo. Suarez back to work. Well struck left field. That one's back there. Gone! He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball. So two down now, and here is Noodle's hey, here daddy. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Noodle. Daddy. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. And that one is lifted in the air. Trammell settles under it. And that is that. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. And at first, now it's going to be Cesar Hernandez. Number two, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. And the pitch. Ground ball right side. Sneaks through, base hit. 
Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple. And Base is full, two gone. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Noodles Daddy. Swing and a line drive caught. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The wind of the pitch. The left fielder, number eight. Tap to first. Daddy collects it. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. That is cool. The first baseman. Noodle. Daddy. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And gone! That one barely got out of here. His latest homer in an incredible season. It's 2-0. Chris, this one got out of here quick. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Four for seven in the series. So he's been good. Two outs. Line drive, speared it first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Let's turn two. Ha Sung Kim, the next to hit. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. On the ground, right side. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Out of the fourth. Now at the plate, Noodles Daddy. Montgomery back to work. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball. So base is loaded with one away. And now Noodles Daddy. Noodles Daddy. Hit on the ground, might be two. To the plate for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that one handled. The play is made at the plate, and the inning is over. Home half of the fifth. Welcome back. And the batter now, Antonio De La Cruz. For the Phillies. Kicks the and fires. Baseman. On the ground. Daddy gloves it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Though he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And he deals. Bunting for a hit. He takes it on his own. And that is that. Inning's complete. Noodles Daddy will hit next. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. This to third. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. 
Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Lamont Wade Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He'll won. In the air out towards right center. Harper has a beat on it. Brings it in. And that'll do it. One left for Arizona. They lead it 5-4. Hey, Bottom of the seventh. And now it's going to be JT Real Muto. Right-handed reliever. That one to first. Daddy handles the chance. And he handles it himself for the out. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front. Stepping in the long ball threat. Noodles Daddy. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. That's going. And that one is out of here. That's his third home run of the game. And they add on. It's 8-4. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing. Next to hit, ha Sung Kim. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Shortstop, ha Young Kim. And here it comes. On the ground, a second, might be two. There's one. The double play ends it right here. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying... Welcome to the desert and inside. And it'll bring up Mike Ford. Adam, Adam, the first baseman, Mike Ford. Right hander kicks deals. 
On the ground to first, Daddy collects, and he takes it himself for the out. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Noodles, Daddy. And fouled off. Here you go. Pulls that one foul. Line drive to short and caught. Noodles Daddy now at the plate. The back. The first base. Noodles. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Thomas stands at first with one out. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Hey, see it. Try it. That's the game. Let's go. The 1 1. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Into third now, so runners at the corners and one out. Runners at the corners here, one away. Next to hit for Arizona, Lamont Wade Jr. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Swings, and this one's flared. Base hit, and a run comes in. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We played. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks. Noodles, Daddy. First baseman, Noodles, Daddy. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A towering home run. His latest homer in an incredible. At the play. Noodles Daddy. Now back. First baseman. Noodles. Daddy. That's hard hit in the line. Solaire puts it away. That's out number two. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Miami Marlins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get started. And today's starter, Luis Frias. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. So now it's the four hole hitter, Noodles now Daddy. The first baseman, Noodles Daddy. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. 
Soler makes the catch, and there's two down. He was all over that fastball that right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it. One gone runner at first. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Righty delivers. Out to short. And that one finds its way through. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. Mike Ford at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, right side. Steps on first for the out. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Happy birthday. Back here at Chase Field, top of inning number seven. And stepping in is the speedy Jazz Chisholm. On the ground right side, Daddy handles. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Noodles Daddy. That's ripped. Base hit. And he's got a double. And the streak lives on. He keeps getting closer and closer to the record. There isn't a pitcher in the league who can solve him right now. It's absolutely amazing, Boog. It seems there's no end in sight, and this is transcending baseball. We're talking almost two straight months with a hit. Up. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Tag, and he's out at the play. Noodles' daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The first baseman. Rip towards third. Sends it to Ford. And they get the out. Now Close one here today. And your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Line, and that's a base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. One away, runners at second and third. Cattell Marte up to the plate. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The pitch. Good eye right there. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. And there's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. you will one. A swing and a soft liner. Devers makes the play. Two down. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Batting seven. The third baseman, number 12. Two outs, bases full. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Romy Gonzalez. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Smith drops steps, heads back on it. Makes the catch, and the inning is over. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks one, and the Marlins nothing. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Hard on the ground to first, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. 
So the batting order turns over. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Yeah, the right hater deals. And yeah, that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Noodles Daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. Up against the wall and makes the catch. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here. but As we go to the top of the fourth, Dom Smith stands in. The left fielder, number three. Bunting, and it's in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. First and third, two away. Noodles' daddy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swings here and blasts one left field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Able to get back into third safely. And a run comes in to score. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And a swing and a miss. Now it's Devers at the play. This guy has turned into a beast. Trying to bunt his way on. Daddy. The flip to the pitcher covering, and Devers is set down. Well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield to see where they were playing before laying that. Man at first, and now the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. The first baseman, Noodles Daddy. That one hammered left field back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Oh, he throws it away. Now here is Noodles Daddy. Now batting. The first baseman. Noodles. Bounced out Daddy. to short. Diaz slings to first. Now two away. Man at first with one gone. Perar and Carnacion digs in now. At the belt and fires. Drops a bunt down the first base side. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. This couldn't have played out any better. 6 5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Two outs, base is empty. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And yeah, the righty deals. And he grounds one to the right side. Daddy picks it up. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that'll do it. Bottom half. Come on, baby. Stay out up there, kid. The first baseman. Noodle. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He powers that one out to left. He's... So digging in, Noodles Daddy. The back. The first baseman. Noodles Daddy. That oh, one hammered up. center up. field. Way back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. The pitch. Soft contact in the air. Puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. We play too full. It's the...
Now it's Dominic Smith. Devers at first, one gone. Double play ball to second. Knocks it down to second. That's one. Over to first, but he beats it. First and second, two down. And here's the first baseman, Noodles Daddy. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, that's fair. Out of here. A three-run homer. He's done it again. And it'll bring up Mike Ford. Grounded out his first time. The first baseman. Ball to strike. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. First and second, one out. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Noodles Daddy. That one ripped. And a base hit. Rojas around third. He's safe. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Now batting, number seven. So two on with two away. Buddy Kennedy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Bounce to the right side. He handles it himself. That's the inning. Runner at first with two away. Noodles Daddy getting ready to hit. Laced into left. That's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. We all saw it was hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. No trouble here. Well, the goal is to win every series, and when you're at home... Yeah. 
We're back at it with another season of the road. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources, my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that. Here, this is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful. Your Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the night. Elijah Pena. And now the right fielder, number 11. Now batting, number 11. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a swing and a miss. One and one. Left-hand batter waits. Hey, let's roll two Number right four, here. the lead runner at second. Number eight at first with no outs. In the air, right field. Veen under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tags at second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Number 21. Two on with one out. And now the center fielder, number 21. Hey. 
There's the strike. Really good job in this spot to get go. ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Squibbed out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now yeah, the batter now. Quinn Brody. That one lifted to left. Martin should have this one. And that is the ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. For Binghamton, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours exactly. Come in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the third baseman, number four. Come back here to the mound. Can't glove it cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Jeremy Vasquez will hit next for the fourth time tonight. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Hit slowly on the ground. Trejo collects it. Sends it across to first. Now only one out remaining. The battle. So up next, number 11. On the ground to third. That's the ball game. And your final score here today, 2-1. A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. In the professional ranks, players have to develop not just on the field, but in the weight room as well. Minor League Manager Rachel Balkovec joins me. Rachel, how important is it for players to make that progress in their off-the-field training and conditioning? It is absolutely crucial. And I think that more and more, you know, when I first got in the game in 2012, it was relatively new. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking about if, if you're not doing it, you're behind. So. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Number nine in the box now. Take strike one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. In the air, out towards left center. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Cullen Large now at the plate. Cullen. 
Let's make a play and hold them right here. Let's go. Oh, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next showing a lot of fight right now and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game one out, one out. swing and a miss struck him out now two out so there's his first strikeout in double a and he's hoping that's the type of stuff that could get him to the big leagues. And one of the keys for pitchers at this level is being aggressive. You know, double-A, they say, is a springboard to the big leagues. So showing that you're not afraid to go after guys, throw strikes, get punch outs. If he can do that down here in the minors, he'll move up the ladder in no time. Number 31 stands at second with two gone. Next pitch inside, and that is ball one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Bounced up the middle. Diaz handles the chance, fires to first. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play for Elvis Martinez. That's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. High fly ball out at a left center field. Martin makes the play, and there's one away. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 21. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The punch out there. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get. And he was frozen. Number 54 in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch has popped up, and that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6-5 the final here. To here at M.
A player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. For so many prospects, they come in and they have areas of their game that need significant work, whether it's contact, as you noted, or fielding. There's always something that can be tweaked and improved. What was the day that you realized, oh, there's something that I want to add, something that I need to really develop? Well, you want to develop everything. I'll give you my draft day. I got drafted. Um... And then I flew to Atlanta, and I actually went. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. Elijah Vigna. And welcome back. And now the DH, number 23. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Armando Alvarez. Here's the third baseman, number three. foul ball there we haven't seen a break in the weather on, and guys. the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon yeah I think so Boog I mean everyone looking and wondering no when they're going to stop play it definitely Point feels out, close man. swings and misses back to back strikeouts <laughs> well obviously the knuckleball it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters but you'll see this every once in a while you give up on that pitch at the plate and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time looks like it's 100 miles per hour and i tell you what i know from personal experience it's not a good feeling two down here. so two down now and here is jason dominguez and he's already singled in this game he swings and misses at the first pitch 0 and 1. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2 now. Bell 2. Outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Here's the 0-2. Good eye right there. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do.
Next pitch has popped up. Levine moving under me, it. Me, 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 me. Makes the play, and it's out number three. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. There's so many different ways for a pitcher to succeed. Not everybody gets by. He has been on a hot streak lately, really. It's important for pitchers early on in their development to realize that no matter how hard you throw, if you can't change speeds effectively, you will not have success at the time. A pitching coach offers support to a player coming off a bit of. Did I hear bust anybody? Let's reset the button here. Ron, before we took a break, you were talking about the importance of pitch sequencing. This manager is hoping to stoke the competitive fire of his pitchers. We're checking in on one of my diamond in the rough prospects, currently paying his dues in the minor leagues. And today I'm joined by former MVP three-time batting. A pitching coach checks in with a member of his staff. For so many players from Latin American countries in particular who sign as international free agents or even through the... This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. Confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn. Baseball players are notoriously a superstitious crowd. Kellen Lee with me. Kellen, we've talked before about normal. A player receives advice about the refining of his game. As competitive as professional baseball is, sometimes choices off the field can affect how you perform on the field. Rachel, there are...
This manager is hoping to stoke the competitive fire of his pitchers. Of course, it's not always by choice that a pitcher adds a new pitch to the repertoire. Sometimes it's by necessity, which happened to you in your MLB career, correct? Yes, it did. In 1987, I broke. He's receiving an immense honor, maybe one of the largest you can get as a minor league player. He has been named to the MLB Futures game at the All-Star Game festivities, recognized as one of the... A player receives input from a coach. We are a week away from the Major League Baseball trade deadline, and we're joined by MLB Network insider John Paul Maros. Carlos, for so many prospects, that first full season can be exhausting, and it can make it a little harder to develop when that physical... With the season approaching its final stretch, a manager calls for heightened focus from his players. starting to see some hints of what he could become on the mound. He has been stellar in his latest pitching performances. Outlighter is well. A pitching coach offers support to a player coming off a bit of a rocky outing. In the minor leagues, a lost season is never fully lost because any situation can be a teaching opportunity. It's easy to forget sometimes how challenging it is for any prospect. A minor leaguer hears from his agent. With the team's chances hanging by a thread, this skipper calls for a last stand. The grind of double A is a well-documented ordeal, and many prospects don't make it past that level because they just can't find enough consistency to succeed. Cliff, what is the key to getting that consistency you need to succeed at the double A level? Work is the key to everything. If you're willing to work and put in the effort and, and, and make sure that you stay um, stay the course. Stay the course means mm -hmm. work smart, not work long, work smart. If that means taking five ground balls because you feel good that day, cool. Then you might need to take 20 because you made a couple mental mistakes. All these things are going to help you in the long, you know, road, not, not, not the short term, but the, in, in the longevity of a career, you're going to need to have work mm -hmm. ethics that's going to push you over the top when you need it the most. <laughs>
This young player has been flying up prospect rankings, drawing attention from scouts and, and from baseball. This is A manager admonishes his pitching staff for giving away too many free bases. It's been an extended run of success for him. After a blown save, this reliever gets a pick-me-up from his pitching coach. An agent checks in with a client currently in the minors. This team's pitchers are being challenged to ask more of themselves. He's getting some great results on the mound early in his pro career, and people around the game are taking... A pitcher is encouraged to keep looking for improvement. We're seeing some really big things out of him lately. He's putting himself on the map as an exciting pitching prospect. Jonathan Mayo. A manager admonishes his pitching staff for giving away too many free bases. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client, confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. A player receives input from a coach.
This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. We are getting closer day by day to the trade deadline, and that means that top prospect... A pitcher is encouraged to keep looking for improvement. In the minor leagues, a lost season is never fully lost because any situation can be a teaching opportunity. With the team's chances hanging by a thread, this skipper calls for a last stand. A manager checks in with his ball club. A player receives advice about the refining of his game. An agent checks in with a client currently in the minors. A manager confronts his pitching staff about an unacceptable team statistic. A pitcher is confronted with a less than stellar stat. This manager is hoping to stoke the competitive fire of his pitchers. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. Confident. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. A player receives input from a coach. This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. A pitcher is confronted with a less than stellar stat.
This manager is hoping to stoke the competitive fire of his pitchers. A pitching coach offers support to a player coming off a bit of a rocky outing. In the minor leagues, a lost season is never fully lost because any situation can be a teaching opportunity. With the team's chances hanging by a thread, this skipper calls for a last stand. 